YouTube TTC Dirty Bird Nation what's good AR10 in the building I just want to uh, send a quick shout out to the Atlanta Braves good, good luck with the um, you know the vision series uh, tomorrow uh, we got a game tomorrow playoffs uh, Braves I mean surprise a lot of people uh, what 190 games and uh, also won the NL East man um, you know, two, three years ago, we were talking about the Braves being the worst team in baseball, and now we're division champion, man. champions, man. That's pretty crazy. I also want to send a shout-out to the Atlanta Hawks. Um, they're starting their preseason. Um, you know, they I think they opened up with the with the win over at Georgia Tech the other night. Um, and, you know, we got Trey Young. Uh, we got the, you know, the, the baby Hawks in there, kind of like the Braves, kind of on that rebuilding level. A bunch of young guys um, got a couple draft picks in that are, uh, you know, hopefully uh, on the on the cusp of uh, changing the culture. Uh, we got Vince Carter in there, um, you know, a, a, a wily veteran that's, uh, you know, has success, knows the game, um, can help mentor all the young guys. So shout out to Vince Sanity. Um, and then we have, you know, uh, the the renovations over there phillips arena I, I think it's called state farm arena now um so you know they got all the construction going on there um they brought in more seats they got a barbershop and a lounge and a bar and all kinds of stuff over there at the uh at the arena so um shout out to the braves shout out to the hawks uh dirty birds were kind of uh uh kind of wobbling right now you know what i'm saying very unstable uh, one and three, so much promise, you know. After after losing to the Super Bowl champions by a freaking, um, you know, by by a ten yard score last year, um, you know, so much hype going into the season. Um, a lot of expectations, you know. Fans thinking twelve and four, thirteen and three, and we start off one and three. You know what I'm saying? So, Dirty Birds, y'all letting the y'all letting the fans down right now. You've lost back to back games at home um you lost to a division rival at home you're giving up freaking 80 points in two games you know what i'm saying um just disappointing man we had a three game stretch right there three home games where we should have won we could have easily won all three and been three and one would have been the first freaking nfc team uh with three wins i, I think all the nfc teams only have two wins right now um but we could have easily won those three games you know what i'm saying and I don't know, man. I mean, we have Philly. Uh, Philly played terrible, and they, they found a way to beat us. Uh, New Orleans just outscored us. And then the Bengals, I mean, they had a last-minute touchdown where the defense, you know, just got tired. And we had some blown assignments. We had some guys playing different positions in the secondary um, that they weren't used to. And we took a loss. Um, just way too many mistakes in the first half. Uh, versus the Bengals, so uh, we only gave up nine points in the second half. So hopefully that carries over uh, to the Steelers game. Uh, Braves, I feel like um, I feel like they're gonna start off hot. They're gonna come out and, and play some good baseball. Um, you know, I, I can see them. I can see them getting um, getting to the um, National League uh, Championship Series. I really can. Um, they got a good squad. Hopefully the pitching shows up. Um, hopefully the bullpen shows up. Uh, as far as the Hawks rebuilding, man, um, Trey Young's gonna shoot a bunch of threes and and run around, but I, I see him getting worn out by like the All Star break, and then you know the second half of the season just being on fumes. Um, he's not that big, he's not that strong. Um, you know, teams can game plan around you. Um, it's some good point guards in the Eastern Conference, so um, he's gonna have his hands full. You know, trying to check these guys. I really don't see him as a defender at all. I think he's a liability on defense. You know what I'm saying? Um, everybody's comparing him, comparing him to Steph Curry. Not even close. You know what I'm saying? As far as shooting, not even close. As far as size, uh, handles. He's a good passer. He might be a better passer than Steph Curry. But um, as far as handles and, and shooting, not even close. You know what I'm saying? He's got a lot of work to do to get on the freaking uh, Steph Curry level. But... Anyway, AR10 checking in with y'all with a quick vid. Um, sitting in this stupid ass traffic, of course. So, uh, y'all take it easy. Have a good one, and I'll get up with y'all later. Peace.